So we're coming to the end of 2017 and we are playing today our last Champions League group game and hopefully we can pick up a win. Hopefully that will see us get second place against Olympiacos away, all coming up next. What's up guys and welcome to JNO United bringing the best in football news, entertainment and games. And today, PS3 Patrol in the Champions League, last game of the group stages, we need a victory. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe if you're new and also make sure to vote for me in the Football Blogger Awards. I'm eligible for the new video and gaming category. A link is in the description below to a tweet that you can tweet for your vote for the new category. There's a link for a tweet that you can tweet straight away, which is a vote for me in the new category, as well as a link to the website where you can vote in all the categories. And with all that being said, let's get into this vital game on Football Manager in our last season with the PSV Patrol. It's getting a bit emotional now. Hopefully we can actually have a decent run in Europe for our final season on this channel. As you can see on the right there, I'm still on two points. I did not pick up the victories I needed. And unfortunately, that means we're three points behind Benfica and Olympiacos. So I need Luvakazen to beat Benfica. I need to beat Olympiacos. And then we need to do it by a decent amount of goals. So really, we're playing for third place. Hopefully, we can get third place and go into Europa League. Hopefully, we won't get shafted like we have been recently and get a ridiculously hard team in the first round. But yeah, we need the victory. After this game, we're probably going to move past the transfer window. So make sure in the comments down below to let me know who you think I should sign in this transfer window. Should I just go for one really good striker? Because it seems to be goals that we're lacking at the moment. Although we've definitely stepped up our goal scoring abilities in the last couple of games. So we're going with a 4-4-2 counter attacking formation with Radkovic in goal. Ponce and Tete as the two fullbacks. Ali Gazal and Bruma as the two centre backs. Lozano, Guardado, Loftus Cheek, and Eseric building up that midfield with Giovanni de Santos supported by Nicholas Lawson up front. Unfortunately, Kennedy and Zach Clough both have injuries. So, yeah. All right, I am nervous, boys. I am actually nervous. This would be the first time we don't get Europa League football as well, which would be embarrassing. Okay, so it looks like they're building up an attack here and they're through. And Radkovic gets a save. Fortunately, the rebound is blasted wide. Not the start I wanted. But Giovanni De Santos with the free kick. And it's wide. Okay, another chance for us, though, by the looks of it. Tete to Lawson. It's all over the place. Guardado has a shot. Bruma picks it up to Gazal. To Lozano. Can he skip past his man? He's tackled in the box. Hoping for a penalty there, but didn't quite get it. Just don't concede is the first thing I want to make sure doesn't happen. That's it. We've got to go for it. You know what I'm like. I hate playing for draws. Maybe that would have helped me out if I played for draws more often. Let's just let this play run out. Tete's now got it on the right to Godardo. Back into Tete. Through to Eseric. Eseric to get... Lawson, get there first and have a cracking goal. Guardado now has the ball. Lozano into Giovanni de Santos. Out to Ponce, to Lozano, to Guardado. See, the build-up play actually looks pretty promising. But we just don't put our chances away. They've had three shots, two on target. I've had four shots and none on target. Kind of shows what we've been like in front of goal, especially against the good teams. Okay, Lawson on the ball, puts it out wide to Eseric. Eseric can play Tete down the line. There we go, Tete get a cross in. All right, back to Eseric. Eseric back to Loftus-Cheek, into Godardo, to Lozano, through to Giovanni, and you put that the other side. Did you not look at the goalkeeper's positioning? I'm hovering over tactics there because I'm thinking about changing to a more attacking formation, but we are away. Again, like we're getting the chances. Six chances to their three. We've had one shot on target. I'm really missing Luke de Jong, Lacardia. I didn't think they were that great strikers, but I've clearly been proven that they are. And, wow. I'm playing counter-attacking, and I'm getting countered. This is some ball. I'm not even going to watch that replay. I know I should have watched the replay for the purpose of the video. 
and I've scored and oh, this episode's going great isn't it okay I scored but I was looking at my tactics okay so we'll look at it again Ponce throws it to Lozano Lozano like lofts it to the that is a good goal if this goes in nicely worked goal Lozano finds Giovanni De Santos just outside the box he takes a touch and slots it away I'm gonna leave it I'm not gonna change anything we are getting more chances just we're rubbish at scoring hopefully we don't get counted again do not concede again all right Esserick tries to find Giva oh dear wow that went wrong real quick okay Bruma now on the ball right Tete to Esserick Esserick cannot find Guardado Esserick has the ball again and for the third time, third time lucky, Tete heads, wow, this is going all over the place. Someone get hold of the ball. Why are we lofting it up the field? Win that ball. Do not let them counter again. Wow, Ponce. That's dangerous. That could be a red. Do not be a red. Come on, ref, don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. Lectures. Wow, not even a yellow. Got away with... I was going to say got away with that. Wow, what a free kick by Sebastian Larson. Former Premier League player, now playing for Olympiacos and does this. Jeez. All right, Loftus Cheek to uh, Lawson to Tete. Tete crosses it. Tete's got it a second time. To Loftus Cheek. To the back post. To Lawson, and it's 3 2. Come on, boys. Come on, let's get two more goals and then we've at least got the same amount of points as the people we're trying to uh, beat to one of the spots still in Europe. Don't know what happened there, but Lawson picks up the pieces. We're still in with a chance, boys. Time to make a substitution, see if we can bring anyone on that will change the game. Come on, boys. Let's grab another two. We've got 30 minutes. We could have an epic turnaround here. We need to grab two goals quickly. Ali Gazal to Guardado, to Quintero, to Giovanni. Out wide to Lawson. Lawson in his more favoured position on the wing to Cranvitter, to Guardado, through to Quintero. Quintero, what on earth have you done? That needs to go in. That should have gone in every day of the week. Are you serious? Why are we dominating games for chances, but for some odd reason, we always get outscored? Never had this problem the last two seasons. If we got beaten, we usually got outplayed, but we usually outplayed the opposition and we'd usually win. Right, Quintero, through to Giovanni. You've just got one man to beat. Just got. I'm not sure about that pass, but Lozano, back post. Giovanni! Don't be offside. It's in. 3 all. Thank God. That number didn't change quick enough for me in the top left of the screen, and I thought that Giovanni had creeped offside. Wasn't sure about his ball out wide to, Liz, uh, to Lawson, not Lozano, sorry. And Giovanni rises and gets the header, and it's free all. And now we just need another goal, and everything will be peachy. As peachy as it can be. Grab that fourth goal. Alright, we're going to have to take Lozano off. He looks absolutely shattered. Cream crackered. Afalai, you've been telling me I should play you. You think you're worthy of being in this team? Prove it. Now's your time to prove it. If you really want to stake a place for this team, this is where you score a goal, Lafalai. Okay, we need to win that ball. Do not concede. Do not concede. There we go. Win it again. Win the header. Now we build an attack. Afalai. Look out wide. And one more. And Quintero. Quintero! That's twice. Come on, man. You're better than this. All right, Ali Ghazal to Guardado, to Ali Ghazal, wastes it. Quintero and now, wow, thank God Radjkovic was there to make the save. How did Quintero not put that chance away? Ah, oh, and it's over. Quintero, two chances to put us 4-3 ahead. I just don't know how Quintero's not scored one of those chances. He only had to put one of them away. 
and we'd be 4-3 up. And Benfica are winning. Wow. So we are literally playing for just pride now, really. Because even if we score here, which we don't, we hit the post. But even if we scored there, we'd still need it like two or three more goals. Quintero, I brought you in with a lot expected of you. And when it really counted twice, you failed to put the ball in the back of the net when you should have put the ball in the back of the net. It's disappointing. Ah, well, that is European competition finished for us this season because we're getting fourth. We're not even going to be able to get third like we have done the last two seasons. So the European dream for the PSV Patrol is going to die here today. It's been emotional. It's been tense. But at the end of the day, we just... We defend poorly, even if we're scoring loads of goals. Three goals, if we're just defended better. Don't be too hard on the team. I've got a friend of morale. Because we still have an Eredivisie title to defend. Santos was man of the match. Four key passes, match rating of 8.8. .8. We had 17 shots of their 10, but they had nine on target. Nine of their shots were on target. Our strikers very rarely seem to... Uh, have that kind of ratio well that's it boys the european dream is over for the psv patrol i think that is it for 2017 the next three games are all dutch cup or games that i should hopefully win in the red so we will probably come back with the willem game maybe even the az game near the end of the transfer window in january thank you guys so much for tuning in Sorry about that disappointment there. No European success for the PSV Patrol in three seasons. Either way, it's been a good journey. We will finish this journey with another Eredivisie title. I'm determined to get three Eredivisie titles in a row. Anyway, I've been JNO. You guys have been awesome. And remember, it's all about the game. <laughs>